The first steps outside of Iran. First sighs of relief and hugs. All long awaited after being unjustly detained for years in a notorious Iranian prison. These Americans clearly so eager to rebuild their lives. It's very good to be able to say that our fellow citizens are free after enduring something that I think it would be difficult for any of us to imagine. In exchange for the five Americans, including two asking to remain anonymous, the U.S. freed five Iranian nationals and gave Tehran access to $6 billion in oil revenues that had been frozen by U.S. sanctions. The funds were moved uh, to uh, another bank where we have absolute oversight of how, they, how they're used, and they can only be used for humanitarian purposes. But last week, Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, told NBC News something different. Naturally, we will decide, the Islamic Republic of Iran will decide to, sp to spend it wherever uh, we need it. Republicans are slamming the swap and the fact that Raisi is attending the UN General Assembly in New York. When I'm president, I won't give criminals like Raisi a, a visa to allow them to set foot on American soil, and we will never, ever pay ransom to terrorists or terrorist states. The deal comes as Iran continues its brutal crackdown on protesters demanding change in the wake of Masa Amini's killing and frustrations over Tehran's recent ban on international nuclear inspectors. We have to be there. We have to, and we will not. Uh, stop our activities uh, there. Washington insists this will not be a reset of the relationship, pleading with Americans to stay away from dangerous places like Iran. Katie Simpson, CBC News, London, Ontario.